DaVinci Resolve for noobs. A lot of people have asked me, hey Daniel, how do I take a full color piece of footage and make only one thing have color and the rest look like it's black and white? Well, here's one way to do that. Take your piece of footage in your timeline and go over to the color page. Make sure you have that clip selected. And with your singular node selected, go down to your color wheels and let's turn the saturation all the way down. So now the entire thing is black and white. Now we're gonna select the qualifier tool, that little eyedropper, and we're gonna invert that by clicking right here. Now it might look like it went right back to the original image, but if you notice, you can take your eyedropper, left click and hold, and you can draw over the image where you want the color to be selected. And you'll see it starts only choosing that area. Now you'll notice it's also pulling that same color out where it occurs elsewhere in the image. I don't care about her thumb so much because that actually looks like a cool reflection, but I don't want it in these background sunflowers. So what I'm gonna do is go to the upper right, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna add another serial node. And with this serial node selected, let's go down to the power windows option, select this pen tool to hand draw a mask. Let's left click up in your preview window around that flower and let's draw a mask anywhere we want the yellow to be seen and exclude anything where we don't want the yellow to be seen. Once you get up to the sky, you can be a little more loose because there's no real yellow in the sky. Make sure you click on the very first dot that you started with to close that mask in. And now let's swap over to the tracker tool and let's hit the backward and forward arrow to track backward and forward across this video clip. Now with that same node selected, what we wanna do is switch back to the power window option and let's hit the invert option on that mask so that now we're actually selecting everything outside of the mask. And once again, we can desaturate everything out there. And you'll see that it removes all the color from everything outside of the mask. Now, when you play through your footage, if you notice that there's some areas where the mask might need some adjustment, don't worry about that. You can just zoom back in and you can just readjust some of the tracking dots here, these little points in your mask and move them however you want and then just switch back to the tracker and you can just track backwards and forwards one more time and fine tune that mask to the point where it does exactly what you want. Once you're all done, go back to the edit page and you should have something that looks like this.